guys so we are at Simuyaj. I hope that you guys enjoyed the best and the vlog that I made for you yesterday um, it was so fun we got caught in this badass rain see why I like Jacques Mel? look at the sand it's sandy beach all around so this is the first time Oof, it's cold this is the first time that I'm coming to Timoyage. I usually either bathe next to the restaurant or I bathe. Um, I have been to the guys playing soccer over here on the beach, enjoying their soccer. So I usually, I, I do two things. I usually, this is the first time that I come to Timoyage. I like Timoyage because as you can see, there are very little, there's nobody here. It's only a couple of people here. So I can really chill, I can really relax. I don't really like to go to the beach when there's too many people. I just don't, that's my preference. If I go to Raymond, it might just be, you know, just for a chill day, but I don't bathe that often at Raymond. But Raymond is pretty cool. Um, we went, we took a drive to Raymond Le Bep. If you wanna know about Raymond, you can go to my page, the Haiti Day Journal there to show you. And right there you will find, you know, some of the small clips that I have of Raymond Lebet. So I'm not going to keep this um, little vlog too long. This is what I'm doing. We are today Thursday. Um, tomorrow the Lala Ben is going to be out. So I want to have enough space so I can film for you guys. Um, there's going to be Lala from tomorrow until Sunday morning. And it's usually the bomb and um, Kajak Mel. People re really go all out for that. So today is pretty much of a mellow day. It's already afternoon. Um, I just wanted to chill. I don't have my book, unfortunately. I am reading no dis. I am rereading No Disrespect by Sister Soja, but I don't have it with me. So it's just gonna be a day alone for me and my time, just chilling, you know, enjoying my spring break, enjoying um, my time in Haiti. And I hope you are enjoying the vlog as much as I am enjoying the vlog. All right, guys. So. Um, other thing, it would be preferable for you to do the bassin blue and everything, um, either during the summer or before the summer because it was, it was kind of messed up that the rain messed up, but it was all an adventure. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy the vlogs. I'll talk to you soon. So I am in my, I guess my first home in the area. I am back in Kabi Beach Hotel. I wanted to use their pool. Um, I left the beach. I'm very tired. I was actually I fell asleep But you know, I like to come here just because of the view. I've told you guys that before um, The view here is mesmerizing So since I can't sleep here, I guess I'll, I'll be chilling here here and there um, So I'm just gonna use the pool. It's not too deep over here. I'll use the pool a little bit and um, a drink a few beers and then after that I'll go and eat my dinner talk to you hi guys we are today Saturday I have no idea if we are already I believe we are in April um, let me see Monday is supposed to be six fifth so okay so today is the fourth um, I'm filming directly from my phone because my camera is completely full I am back at the first place that I stayed the last time. I came here initially to come to the beach. And you know, life is so weird. I didn't choose this place because, um, you know, I didn't want the owners of the house to come for the weekend. And um, today I wanted to go to Timuyaj, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go to Timuyaj. Let me come here and chill by the beach. I can ask them for a chair and just read my book. I am rereading, as I told you before. Hold on. I am re I'm rereading The Disrespect by Sister Soja. So yeah, so I was like, um, let me just come here. I have on my bathing suit, I was going to spend the day. Yesterday was kind of like a crappy day. So when I came and I was walking around and I saw the guy who takes care of the house, he was like, oh my God, you in the area? I was like, yes. I was like, are the people here? At first I thought the people were here, like the homeowners. So I was like, all oh, the people here. And then they were like, excuse me, I'm drinking my bourbon cool. 
And then he was like, no, they didn't come. They're not coming. I was like, oh, are you serious? I mean, granted, the house where I'm staying is definitely more comfortable, like more spacious, more comfortable. I have the kitchen. Here, the kitchen is over there. But the last time I didn't use the kitchen, so it was the people at the restaurant who, you know, gave me breakfast and lunch and everything else. But here, I like it because it's like right here, like I told you. See the water? Oh my God, it's so nice. So the beach is like right there and the restaurant is right there. And there's a lot of people like if you want to network, if you want to see people, if you want to do all that, like it's a good spot to do that but this vacation is very different from my first vacation because i went out every day i had some a different activity and early this morning i was supposed to go to Marigo to go to a boat thing but they canceled it so later i will be going to Marigo, but i will be going to um i think these boys that i met the last time we're here i'm also going to go to the beach today i'm going to just hang out or maybe not or if I don't go to the beach, then I'm just going to go to the pool at Kabik, maybe another two or three hours. But, you know, you know, you have to be, I, I can't say you have to be because everybody's different in life. But I am such a people person. And one thing that I can say about my parents is that education that, I've, that they've given me is so great that it's like people are drawn to me. The guy was like, yeah, I know you're not sleeping here, but the house is open. If you want to have a nap, if you want to use the bathroom, whatever you want to do, you can still use the house. He put the amax for me so I could relax. Listen, I'm telling you, we'll talk about, you know, um, being a good person in life. It pays off. Being a polite and respecting people, it pays off. I'll have to do because people, some people, they don't. Anyways, yeah, so... I guess I'll talk to you soon, guys. Let me go chill and read my book. Probably eat Omar. And enjoy the vacation. See you soon. The spirit of Haiti is definitely its art. I was sitting here. That's why I told you that this is a nice spot. Let's say that you wanted to see merchants and everything. And I saw this young kid who was coming around with some, you know, handmade jewelry. So I asked him about what he was selling and he was selling some jewelry so I got me this the green one I got another one as well I got this one as well so I got two ones and um, he said that he liked me so much that he was gonna give me something and he gave me two he gave me this necklace I was wearing other different things earlier so he gave me this one and he said that he will um, that he would make another one for me. The spirit of Haiti is, um, it's definitely, um, it's art. There's no doubt about it because everywhere that you go in Haiti, we have an entrepreneurial spirit because there is nothing in terms of job to do. So we have to create. But the problem with the Haitian spirit with the, is the way, is that there is a way to do things. There is a different ways to do things. So, you know, hopefully, not hopefully, I know the agency is going to grow to become what it's supposed to be for the Haitian people. Let me show you the beach right now. The craziest thing is the fact that I have not been able to, um, I don't know how to swim. See that? See this bitch? So gorgeous. Nothing like living in the Caribbean. I tell you, I mean, Haiti can be crappy. Um, at times, look at this guy swimming. Oh my god, like I don't know how to swim, but I'll be going to the water today. Like, I don't care, even if I stay like high, me, it don't matter. I'm going in, I gotta use the water. Going back to Port of, Port of Hair Monday, we, today was Saturday. All right, guys, talk to you soon.
Que se pliegue 